This is the first video I'm making for what will be an online documentation section for the High Voltage Upgrade Kit. So it will comprise lots of small videos that talk about the different aspects of upgrading your bike. So as I make these, they'll be available to view on the website. They won't be searchable on YouTube because they're kind of part of an online manual and will be shortened to the point clips with just the information needed. So right now we're going to look at what you get in the box when you order a BBS HD upgrade kit from High Voltage. There will also be some information at the end of the video on our solution to allow the Egg Rider display to work correctly at 72 volts and power on and off using the inbuilt power switch, which sounds simple, but in practice, it's not the easiest thing to do. So if you order a high voltage BBS HD upgrade kit, you get a nice box like this in the post. And the team takes a lot of effort to package everything carefully. And I'm gonna go over everything very briefly and if people have questions or want more information, there's gonna be links to more information in the description. So first up is the ASI BAC855, which is the controller that we're using with our BBS HD kit. And Greg has done a great job of soldering on a connector for the phase wires and also a female XT90 connector for the battery. We have the phase wires over here and they have the opposite connector, uh, which goes with the, the controller over here. And this option for the phase wires is to have them supplied with uh, basically blank ends. And then you have crimp connectors here um, that you connect on or you crimp on yourself. And the idea being rather than having extra wires everywhere, you can cut them to length, um, have them how you want them and then you just crimp this on and then use the heat shrink um, to get a nice, uh, nice neat job at the end of it. Uh, we also have a gasket here um, for where the wires enter in and that fits with the, uh, with the BBS HD cover plate here. If you don't feel particularly comfortable um, doing crimping and stuff like that, um, we can crimp them on for you or you could also let us know how long you want these wires to be and we can cut them to length and crimp them on for you as well. Uh, we also send a uh, XD90 um, anti-spark, uh, which is the, the male side. So if your battery um, doesn't have the right connector, you could take it down to a, like an RC hobby shop or something like that and they could probably solder that on for you. Um, so it'll work with that. Uh, this one here is the, the main harness and runs from the, the back 855 and uh, we have here, this is the, the speed sensor connector that Bafang won. Then we also have the connector for the, for the hall sensors and for the pass. And this is the one that goes up to the front of the bike, which does like your display, your throttle and your uh, brake cutoffs. And this last one here is the temperature thermistor or sensor, whatever you want to call it. And this bolts onto the side of the BBS, BBS HD, and this will send the signal to the back 855, and it will tell it to, to throttle the power if your motor is in danger of, of overheating. I should say there are a few other options with this harness that I didn't go for and you can have um, a feed switch for the for the headlight switch if you want and you can also have a gear cutoff sensor um, option as well if you'd like that uh, i didn't need it for this particular version so far uh, with our kits we've been offering the uh, the 750c display uh, and that's what i've got here so you get your display which you mount in the center of the bike and then it has uh, a power switch and that lets you go up and down the levels, power the bike on and off. It's, um, it's basic, but it has a really nice bright display. It's very easy to read and it's nice and waterproof. There'll be uh, a little bit more on the, on the Egg Rider later and we'll be offering that option as well soon. To make things uh, nice and easy uh, for on your bike, uh, we provide a mount for the uh, for the back 855 controller and uh, we also provide the uh, the cover plate for the BBS HD uh, these have actually been printed in the uh, the carbon fiber reinforced materials we've been using and it gives it this nice uh, nice matte look uh, which I quite uh, quite like 
So that is the high voltage BBS HD upgrade kit. And along with the physical items, you also get first class customer service and technical support via the Discord platform, which covers everything from the installation of the kit to choosing a frame or battery. It's a great community that's growing by the day. Before I finish though, a bit of information on the Egg Rider V2 display, which will be available shortly. Before it's made available, however, we wanted to make sure that it could be used natively at 72 volts. In order to make this possible, Mike at High Voltage has designed and fabricated a custom voltage adapter to protect the Egg Rider from damage at higher voltages. This means that you can run any battery up to 20S and the Egg Rider will power your bike on via the switch on the Egg Rider. Previous setups have used either a separate power switch or alternate power feed or a large resistor to protect the Egg Rider. Neither of these methods we really liked. This way, we are able to run just one harness design and keep things nice and simple for both us and users of the kit. This is right now in the final stages of testing and once it's done, we should be able to wire them onto our egg riders to make a 72 volt version or make a dongle for existing customers to allow them to go higher than 52 volts. It will be great to offer people the egg rider option in this way as it has a very stealthy look and is very compact despite having a very full set of features and a companion phone app to let you change settings. There'll be a full rundown on the Egg Rider once we make it available. Thanks for watching the channel. Cheers.